Good morning guys. We are in Paldong in Namyangju and my friend Shaleen, shout out to Shaleen, told me that this place is really good for biking because the Han River obviously still comes way out here and there are apparently really good bike paths and lots of bike rental spots. Still a little bit sick so I'm not sure how long I'm gonna bike. She said she biked all the way to Yangpyeong which is really far. Um, I don't think I'm gonna do that today but I'm just gonna give it a little tester. So I came quite early. It's about 9 30 now. This is reachable by Seoul subway. So yeah, let's see what is in store for us. Let's go get a bike. Okay. Bike secured from bike total. I got it for the whole day just because I don't like having a time limit and I'm going to wait for these cars to stop and then we're going to get onto the bike lane. This is so beautiful! I literally can't get over how beautiful this is. This mountain is ridiculous. There's just wildflowers everywhere. This entire thing is only for bikes and you can walk as well. So I'm actually riding in the walking lane just because there are more serious people passing me and nobody is walking and I can see very, very far. Um, yeah, there's just, there's all these like weeping willows that you never see in Seoul. Like this is just a legitimately magical place and it took me 40 minutes to get here on the subway and 12 bucks to have a bike for the entire day. Wild. So as you can see, there are lots of nice little resting places. I've been riding for about 30 minutes now and I'm just taking a little break in this nice shaded bench area. It's quite hard for me to film while I'm biking. I'm not that coordinated. My video from Udo was an absolute miracle. That was like the one time I'm ever gonna be able to bike and ride at the same time. So while I was biking, since I'm alone, I was actually listening to an audiobook, which reminds me, this video is sponsored by Audible. I'm so happy to announce that they decided to work with us again. I'm really honored because I do genuinely love supporting audiobooks and literature of any kind. And so if you don't know what Audible is, Audible is one of the largest digital libraries of audiobooks and other content. And they actually have something called Audible Originals, which is content exclusive to Audible by storytelling that you probably know. There's actually one by Kate McKinnon from SNL who is Hillary Clinton slash Justin Bieber. Um, she has an Audible Originals that I'm super excited to listen to. So there's like comedy, there's journalism, everything. And so you can get your first audiobook free along with some Audible Originals. If you use my code, you can go to audible.com slash carrycakes or if you're in the US, you can text carrycakes to 500-500. I'm currently listening to The Night Tiger. Last time I talked to you guys about Audible, I was listening to kind of a self help uh, which I ended up really loving especially in audiobook form but now I decided to go for a fiction route and the night tiger is kind of like a fairy tale it's set in Malaysia in the 1930s and it kind of plays off of this Chinese myth I think it is that um, there are men that can turn into tigers so instead of like werewolves it's like were tigers I haven't hit that part in the story yet it's kind of been alluded to um, but it basically is told by two different points of view one character is Ji Lin who is a very 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 intelligent girl but um, she's a girl in the 30s so she wasn't able to go to university so she's she ended up working in kind of a dance hall and she stumbles across this very strange item. I don't want to give too much away. Um, but then the other point of view is a 11 year old boy named Ren, who is kind of like a, like a house worker, kind of like a butler sort of, and his master gives him 
a very strange task and um, it's really really good I as you guys know I've been a little bit sick recently I've just been so tired that I don't want to look at a screen anymore um, so I've actually just been listening to audiobooks which is really nice I listen to this I just lay in bed turn off all the lights in my house and listen to this fairy tale Red remembers how just a few months ago the boy has done many such tasks before also um, narrated by the author and she does these it's really subtle but she does like tiny little voices for each character um, it's just it's so far it's been really really wonderful I'm halfway done I actually was listening to it last night and I totally fell asleep so I had to backtrack luckily audible has like a chapter guide so I was able to just figure out where I last was when I finally woke up and realized what I had done um, so yeah I'm gonna continue to listen to that it's really amazing because she really describes Malaysia and just how beautiful it is and they're very much in the countryside and so it's really cool to be riding through this and like seeing all this greenery and it's very hot today it's nowhere close to Malaysia hot but it's really hot so it just feels like I'm in it and I feel like I'm gonna ride for so long just because I want to finish this book so yeah thank you so much audible for sponsoring this I absolutely adore your service and if you want to try out audible yourself you can get your first audiobook for free for trying audible for 30 days if you use my URL which is audible.com slash carry cakes if you're in the US text carry cakes to 500 500 you also get to keep every single title that you download from audible overall audible amazing I'm so incredibly enjoying my ride because of it um, I highly suggest the night tiger by Yang Tzu Chu probably said that wrong she said it in the beginning because she introduced herself but anyway yeah definitely highly suggest audible highly suggest the night tiger thank you audible so so much for supporting this channel I love everything that you do let's get riding let's go I see why they say take off your sunglasses it's like a little cave in here oh it's creepy you can barely even see that for some why do I feel like I'm on a BuzzFeed Unsolved? Oh, it is so nice and cool in here though. Oh, okay, I see the light at the end of the tunnel. This is also slightly downhill. I feel like I'm going really fast. Okay, it's not showing up on my camera, but it is just so green. There's just nothing but greenery in front of me. When will my phone adjust? We'll never know, but it is like popping poppin' green out there. Oh, here it comes. Oh, look at that. What peace. So nice. I literally just did the fastest pullover because I've got this amazing smell. And there's like, they're far away, but there's one here. There's just this bundle of trees. I've never seen the likes of them before anywhere. What are they? I think they're lilacs, but why are they in these like bubbles? They're all shaped like this. I wonder what they are. If anybody knows, they smell like lilacs, but they're growing in a very strange way. I'll show you. <laughs> Confusion, but this is great. Also, this is just like a cutout. Um, a little park you can sit in. You can faintly hear the road, but that's it. Um, you can hear this like really annoying bird going bark, bark every once in a while. I think right here, I think it looks like a guest house. This, I mean, this is literally just gonna be a vlog of me saying this is so nice, but like this is so nice. This is so lovely. It must be incredible in autumn. Definitely need to come back, but um, yeah, this is, wildly beautiful i am so thankful to shaleen for telling me about this let's keep riding we're going to an abandoned train station sounds good let's go Ooh, my legs are a little shaky after this ride Whew. So 
this is an old train station that was open from 1956 until 2008 and it's covered in just all these old pictures of people here at the train station it's even got like the timetable and all the prices and stuff and you can just come in and walk in it's right on the bike path you can't miss it this is so cool really serving yet but this place has kimchi done and kamcha done and like I could do with a good done right now but it is it is 11 o'clock so ah, too bad but never fear I brought my own food I'm gonna save my bell peppers for later, but like the true grandma I am, I brought prunes because I love prunes. <laughs> Gotta get that digestive tract on track, right? I'm so happy. The wind off the water, it makes everything the perfect temperature. Everyone is so smiley and so friendly. Like everyone I've made eye contact with has been like, <laughs> like really American style. You know how when we jog next to each other, we always have to go, hi, hi. That's what it feels like here. And I love it. There are so many birds. Literally, what the heck? This is my new favorite place ever. I'm so sad that it's gonna get really hot and I'm not gonna be able to do this all the time. Okay, I'm gonna get back on the road. Um, I'm feeling a little bit tired, feeling like the sun is getting higher and higher in the sky, which means I gotta get out of here. And um, I'm gonna hit hit a cafe, see if there's some snackies. Um, originally, I was gonna go to another, like the tip of this peninsula that's over here, but um, it said it's like a six minute bike ride, but then they didn't say that the, the hill is ridiculous. Um, like there was even a warning for cars, like how steep it was. So I was just like, not today, not today. I have beautiful views here. I don't need to go to the tip of the peninsula for better views. So yeah, we're gonna go hit a cafe, get out of this sun and enjoy the rest of this ride. Wow, I'm in love. Thank you for joining me on this. I am, oh God. Anyway, let's go. Okay, so I just sat and had coffee and a cheese olive scone at Nine Block, which is this huge cafe that is just has the most insane view. It's just it. Ugh. So anyway, um, because this is Korea, I was able to just leave my bike in the parking lot without locking it or anything. It's still here. It's fine. Only in Korea. So I'm going to. I'm about. Mm, 10 minutes from the station and from returning my bike so I'm gonna return my bike and I'm gonna head home overall like while I was riding my cold really didn't bother me so I probably could have gone a lot farther definitely if I was healthy you could spend the whole day I only rode including the time that I'm like chilling in the cafe um, it was like three hours total but this is totally something that you can do the whole day there's a lot of eateries as well so if you keep going further um, you can stop and have lunch and like turn around it you can make the entire day of it it's so nice everyone here is just in a really good mood I can see why so yeah let's go return this cutie 
and uh, head back into the city. Let's go. All right, all right, all right. So we, uh, I turned in my bike. He just needed to check it over, make sure I didn't break it, um, which I didn't. Paldong Station is just like a two minute walk maybe from the bike place. So gonna walk to the station and head home. It is now about one o'clock, so gotta get out of here. I reapplied sunblock, but better safe than sorry. As you could tell from all of my commentary today, this was so enjoyable and I'm so happy not just because riding a bike you get those, uh, what's it called, endorphins from working out, but this was just beautiful. Like I couldn't believe my eyes half the time. It was really wonderful. So if you're looking, if you like riding the bike around the Han River, like in Seoul, so like near Yoido or Duksam or anything like that, definitely come over to Paldang and Namyangju. It is so much less crowded. It's an entire just bike path, so you don't need to worry about cars except for like the one second you have to get on the bike path. But also these roads aren't even crowded. Yeah, if you're just looking for a change of scene and you love riding bikes or you want to do something alone, riding bikes with some music or a nice audiobook, always a great activity. So yeah, I'm going to catch the train home. And thank you so much for joining me on this journey. Thank you again, Audible, for uh, sponsoring this little guy. And that concludes the wonderful day in Namyeongju. Thank you for coming. See you guys next time. San Diego represent. <laughs> Bye.